From the Virgil, a production of the ANA Media Group and Consider It Done Productions. Award-winning, aging, and awesome. Here are your hosts, Kai Sisson and Aaron Breen. Hello and welcome to Aging and Awesome, a show all about informing, enlightening, and inspiring older people and their families. And welcome to the beautiful Virgil. Hi to our live studio audience. Yes. <laughs> we have a great show ahead. If you're about to retire, it's time to think about making a plan for where you're headed. Marsha Rambo will have some strategies to consider. Plus, there are a lot of misconceptions when it comes to senior living communities, especially after COVID. Aaron sits down with Morningstar Senior Living of Sparks. And of course, a little later, we take a spin in my cab. Ah, but first, are you into gardening? I have a plant in my home. <laughs> it's currently <laughs> the only okay. living thing that's under my care. Yes, I, okay. have, I have a house plant. All right, well. <laughs> <laughs> That's good enough, right? You're gonna love this show then, I'm telling you that. Because uh, I actually try to garden. Uh -huh. I always plant a few tomatoes and I might get like four okay. for the entire summer. Nice, that's real gardening. Yeah. That's real gardening. Not very good at it though, maybe a broccoli or two. I'm just not all that good at it. But tonight we're gonna be talking to someone who knows all about gardening. Barb Fenny not only knows all about gardening, she knows about the flowers and trees that are best for different soils and even different valleys here in the Northern Nevada area. Now she shares that knowledge every day. Like so many older workers, she has found a way to bring in extra money doing what she loves, and that's teaching. So we caught up with her at work. A stroll through the gardening center at Home Depot can be both invigorating and a bit overwhelming. <laughs> I know I almost always have a few questions. And you know who knows all about all of this? Barb Penny. She's the resident master gardener at the Home Depot on Summit Ridge. I just thought it would be fun and I just love the flowers and the color and the texture and everything. She loves answering all those questions that you aren't quite sure whether or not to ask and she gets them every day. Usually they'll say, I don't know an annual from a perennial, and so I'll explain that. She knows what will grow where. You have to look at the tag and read and understand all of the ins and outs of the tag. She knows how much to water. Watering generally is 10 seconds for a gallon container of um, a plant and that's full stream, so you can count 1,001, 1,002. How to replant. What you do is you can take your finger and you can score this, or you can take something sharp if you have really tough roots, and then you would put it in a bigger pot. And the importance of taking care of those plants after they bloom. If you don't deadhead, and that's snapping the bud off after it's gone, then the plant will put all of its energy into that little dead bud. And to teach it all to you, just for the asking. A former art teacher who's found a new calling, a new career, if you will. It's more like the 10th career. <laughs> you see, she used her COVID lockdown time wisely. With COVID, you know, I thought that'd be a good time, thing to fill my time and that did, little did I know, I would be doing the Master Gardener class and probably about 30 other classes because it's so easy to take classes on Zoom. And anything that was related of interest, I took the classes. And like so many other older employees here, she's teaching even when she's not actually teaching because older employees naturally set the right example, which is a big benefit to Home Depot huge benefit. They've got the wisdom, the knowledge, the dedication, the work ethic, everything that really values a great employee is what they carry. So it's really invaluable for us to have them on our team just to help out and help teach the younger generations 
the true work ethic. Absolutely. So if you've got questions, concerns, or just want to chat, look for Barb. You need to probably check your plants several times a day and maybe even water first thing in the morning. You see, she does have all the answers, and she's very happy to share them because while gardening is her current focus, her real passion is teaching. So you so, really are a lifelong teacher because you're still teaching people. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely, and I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> Barb is such a great example, Erin, of going after what you want to do in life. Oh, she is. And she's also very passionate, I don't know if you knew this, about bees. Bees? Yeah. She wants to make Reno into a bee town USA. She oh, wants to save the pollinators. Oh, nice. The butterflies, the bees, she wants to have the hummingbirds out there, and she has got a petition going on it. It's just, it's fascinating, but she's very much into the bees. We should do a story, another story on We absolutely <laughs> will, so stay tuned. Good, okay, we'll look forward to that on a future show because uh, that'll be really great, Green, great. Still ahead on Aging and Awesome, Morningstar Senior Living of Sparks will be here to knock down some myths about senior living and a spin in my cab will have some trivia to test your knowledge that you won't want to miss. And when you retire, do you know where you'll want to live? Realtor Marsha Rambo has some important things to consider. But first, we'll take you to Club Green. You ready to go? I'm ready. <laughs> Let's reconvene. Don't you go anywhere. That's 90 seconds away. Thinking about moving or downsizing? You should meet my good friend, Marsha Rambo, who's Realty One Group Eminence. With over 35 years experience, if you're looking for a home that better fits your lifestyle, Marsha is the right person for you. Thanks, Joe. My name is Marcia Rambo and I've been advocating for seniors for decades, specializing in helping older people find the right home during every stage of life. Call Marcia today and tell her I sent you. Eden Home Health is Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. You have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in home health care, Eden Home Health and Eden Hospice. The personalized care team at Eden Hospice is dedicated to focusing on your loved one's quality of life during a difficult time. Eden Hospice's mission is to ensure dignity for every patient. Find out how Eden Hospice can help your family by calling 841-6123. Listen to this. I'm an actor, and I think you should call a random 1-800 number to talk about Medicare benefits. Wait a minute, this guy's just a spokesperson for a call center that wants to sell you something. It's dynamite! Don't even start. There are some amazing benefits available, and the Medicare store will tell you the truth about all of them. And they give free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. Trust the Medicare store, not an actor. Come by or visit themedicarestore.com. Hablamos Español. Hey, I don't know if you know this, but Reno has a municipal rose garden. It's over at Idlewild Park. It's home to more than 200 varieties of roses. And you know what? When they're in bloom, you see more than 1,700 flowers. All at once, you just walk through them like a big old English garden right here in Reno. It's one of my daughter's very favorite places to just go and sit and think. It's really pretty. She pointed out an observation there recently, and I thought I'd pass it on to you. Sometimes life is like a rose bush. It can be thorny, it can be sweet, it can be colorful, but you never really know exactly where you're headed, do you? Not really. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you make a plan and it goes nowhere, like these dead ends. <laughs> I have had a lot of these with a lot of my own ideas. Ones I just knew were gonna be money makers, until they weren't. <laughs> Try as I might, I just couldn't get them off the ground. They absolutely went nowhere. But every once in a while, we all have a few ideas that actually bloom. Reconvene with Aaron Breen, that was a winner. So I was moving to Ireland for a few years to get my master's degree. Okay, it was not a money maker, but it was a great idea and an even greater adventure and I'm just never gonna stop talking about it, okay? <laughs> Another idea, it was great, my books. By the way, they're available at AaronMeAndBreen.com. <laughs> so I suppose that the real lesson here is no one ever really knows exactly which ideas will grow and flourish and which ones will be stunted by conditions that we can't control, by the weather, or maybe by aphids, ew. Just bad timing, maybe. So go ahead and throw them all out there and see what takes root, because you just could end up with an entire garden of good ideas to work with. 
For Aging and Awesome, I'm Erin Breen. Reconvene with Erin Breen is presented by the Medicare Store. The Medicare Store is local and gives free, unbiased, personal Medicare advice. Visit the Medicare Store today. Do you or a loved one live in a nursing home? Do you know that you have rights? All residents have rights guaranteed by the Federal Nursing Home Reform Law. They include the right to be treated with dignity and respect, to privacy, and to develop a comprehensive plan of care with the staff. Other rights include the right to be fully informed about care and treatment options and to file grievances. There are protections in case of involuntary discharge or transfer. Know your rights. For more information about residents' rights or questions or concerns, contact your long-term care ombudsman program. They are advocates that promote and protect the rights of residents in licensed long-term care facilities. Visit www.theconsumervoice.org for more information. That's www.theconsumervoice.org. Theconsumervoice.org. Flowers are fighters. That's why the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's is full of them. Because flowers find a way to break through, just like we will. Join the fight at alz.org slash walk. I thought there was nothing people could do about scams until I found Better Business Bureau's Scam Tracker website. There, I learned about scams in my area. I, I lost, lost a lot, lot of, of money. money. And I shared my story, too. I was offered an online work-from-home job. I spent all this money on course training materials, but there was no job. So be careful. Thanks, Thanks for, sharing for sharing that. that. You're welcome. Better Business Bureau. Start with trust. Health Benefits Associates, your Medicare experts here in Northern Nevada, with offices here in Reno, Sparks, and the Carson Valley. Every day, we are teaching people how to master their own Medicare, like us. There are so many plans available, like Senior Care Plus, Prominence, AARP, and more. Not every plan is going to work for your needs, and we want to help you understand why. Come join us today to learn which Medicare plan is meant for you. Welcome back to Aging and Awesome. There are so many things to consider when you retire and where you want to live is an important one. Realtor Marsha Rambo is here with us, a very good friend of the show, with some tips and some options on what to do when you retire and how to be prepared. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Kai. Thanks for having me back. It's so good to have you again. <laughs> uh, what, are, what are some things, things people can keep in mind? Well, once you know you're getting towards that age, there's a lot of things to consider. One of the things you might consider, especially in the crazy market that we're in, if you've got real estate holdings that aren't generating income for you, or you've got a vacation home that you don't even use anymore, think about liquidating it. Maybe you use that money for other things that you're gonna need. You've gotta consider, where am I gonna move? Do I wanna stay in the snow? Do I wanna live in the sunshine all the time? Do I want to, like what we did, move towards the kids mm -hmm. or the grandkids? If you think about doing that, you might think about renting mm -hmm. because you may move towards them and they get a job transfer and then you're stuck. And then if you follow them, it's going to be easier if you're renting. Right. And, and you don't have to worry about the appliances when they break. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Not if, when. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So you might want to consider that. And even if it's a year or two when you know you're going to retire, think about packing already. Mm. That's what we did when we moved. I took a box a day and think about what am I going to sell? What am I going to donate? What am I going to get rid of? A good friend of mine, she's in her late 70s, and she had her kids come over, even though they have the trust and things are, are noted in that. She had her kids go around to like paintings that she used to draw and lamps, whatever personal property, and they put their names on it. Mm. So there's no question because when her mom passed away, there was four siblings, they all got in a fight. Oh my God. Over all the stuff. Over so the lamps? If, if, whatever, <laughs> all whatever. the stuff. Okay. Yeah. So with your names on it, there's no question who's getting what. You know, you, you try to make this as simple as possible, again, with the trust, to have the house in a trust. It took my 96-year-old mother to be 90 to get her house to put in the trust, but she finally did it, All because right. it really makes everybody's life a lot easier. The other thing is, too, you're gonna wanna check out 55-plus communities. 
You know, if Zadok going to be a good fit for you, they have activities, different, you know, things that they do. Or if you think that you're going to be needing anything assisted living, you may not need it for five years, but look around at different facilities that offer independent living, assisted living, skilled nursing care. So when the time comes, you already know, is that facility going to fit me or not? Because things can happen quick. You might have to move quick. The best advice I can give is plan ahead. Right plan way ahead because if you sell your house you've got 30 to maybe 60 days to move believe right. me you can't do it all right in that time. so packing day by day a exactly little, a little. that's the best advice yeah. i can give is just plan ahead and Great. be organized and go to your next phase of life yeah, absolutely <laughs> i love those tips i don't know how my mom would feel about starting to label things mine <laughs> mine mine but that's awesome thank you again marcia so much we really appreciate you having on the show if you'd like to ask marcia any questions you can call her there at the number on your screen and we'll have her back on soon thank you so much thanks kai appreciate it wow there really is a lot to consider when you're retired Coming up, Kai's cab will take a spin through town, see if his newest passenger can win. But first, Morningstar Senior Living is here to continue this big conversation we're having, living comfortably as we age. That's right after this short thank you to our closed captioning partner. Even with more than one million people cared for by hospice each year, the decision to call hospice is never easy. However, at Infinity Hospice Care, many families tell us they wish they would have contacted us sooner. And with hospice being covered by Medicare and most insurance, the decision to get your loved ones the help they need is even easier. Plus, the registered nurses at Infinity Hospice Care are available 24-7. To learn if we can help, go to infinityhospicecare.com. Welcome back. You know, senior living has changed a lot over the last few decades, and I'm sure that what my parents and probably your parents as well, you remember as senior living is typically kind of a grim situation, but that has all changed. We've got uh, retirement communities now. So we also have some guests here from Morningstar. We've got Inga Smith Hi. and Stephanie Hanna. Thank you so Hello. much for joining us here tonight. I Thanks think that a lot of people us. do kind of lump them together and think that maybe a, uh, a, a nursing home and a retirement community are just all the same thing. And they aren't, are they, Stephanie? They're not. Um, a nursing home is really a medical facility. So that is an ideal location for people who have chronic illnesses, long term that need that medical care. So what we offer at Morningstar in our assisted living, we have residents that have a variety of different care levels right. from basic all the way to level one to four. Okay. And we help with bathing and toiletrying and you know getting them to the dining room. It just really depends on what they So it's they some need. help, but it's not necessarily nursing care. Correct, it's more right? of a home environment. Right. It's an ideal situation for um, seniors who are older. Um, some need a little bit more help than others, but it's a place for them to call home and to be a part of a community where they don't have to do their own housekeeping or laundry. They don't have to shop or prepare their own meals anymore. Right. So life just becomes easier for them. And Inga, there are different levels at Morningstar, right? Yes, we have three levels. We have independent living, assisted living, and our reflections, which is memory care. We offer transportation, so if if something happens where you're not able to drive, we will still take you to your doctor appointments. And we do a lot of fun things. We go to the rodeo, we go to concerts, picnics. Then when you get to a point where you may just need a little extra help, you can transition to our assisted living. And the nice thing about that is you can still be with your friends. Uh, maybe not so much right now during COVID, but in normal times, you can still eat in the same dining room with them, uh, but you also have the care um, that you need. And then you have memory care. We well. have memory care. So with Alzheimer's and dementia, it just depends on the person, on how quickly it affects you. So our memory care is secure, and so we do everything for you. That's wonderful. So. You can kind of transition between mm -hmm. them, right? Yeah. As you need. And a lot of these social things, Stephanie, really kind of help you 
I'm not, I don't know, they could help you live longer. I mean, they help you give you some, a chance to socialize with other people. They so you're do. not isolated. Right. I think it's just really important um, because it allows the seniors to be with their peers. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, through the activities program that we have, we offer a variety of different options, as Inga had pointed out earlier. So we really have um, anything that anybody would be interested in doing. It also allows them to make connections and build friendships. And I think that's really important when you become older and you're living in a new environment, you're not always seeing your family. Mm -hmm. um, so it does allow you to make that connection and be a part of a community. Boy, thank you very, very much, Hannah and Inga. And if you're interested thank in you. taking a tour or learning more about Morningstar, just go to the information on our screen. Life is story, pages of amazing adventure, and narrow escapes. Bold steps taken, races run, chapters on love and heart lessons, and new beginnings. Your life, your legacy, our privilege to serve. Morningstar Senior Living. At Reno Eye Institute, you'll get the attention you deserve from a doctor who cares. I came in to see Dr. Freeman at Reno Eye Institute because I was able to get in and see him right away, and that was very important to me. From the moment I met Dr. Freeman, I felt that he really cared about me. He cared about my eyes and cared about me as a person. At Reno Eye Institute, our focus is you. Now accepting new patients. Call Reno Eye Institute today at 4517268. Envy Legal Docs LLC, they are the trust masters, is a proud sponsor of Aging and Awesome, providing affordable wills, trusts, and estate planning document services. They are much different than your typical expensive law firm, offering flat fee pricing customized for each family. Having a trust is so important, and the Envy Legal Docs team will explain at their no-cost, no-pressure seminar. Book your spot today and give them a call at 775-683-3100. Living Trusts, don't leave Earth without one. Living at Lakeside Manor, an independent senior living community in the heart of Reno, means pleasure for the residents and peace of mind for their families. Rooms are available now, starting at $15.80 a month. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. If you're 64 or 65 and newly eligible for Medicare, you only have a few months to enroll, or you may incur a late enrollment penalty. By understanding Medicare now, you'll have time to get a full picture of the choices that are right for you. Join experts from Senior Care Plus for a free ABCs of Medicare seminar to learn about Medicare and the options available to you. Sign up at SeniorCarePlus.com or call 775-982-3158 today. Howdy ho! It's off and away we go in Kai's cab. Whoa, we back. Hey there. Well, hey. <laughs> Who do we have today? Um, I'm Kathy DeFrancesco. Kathy DeFrancesco, a familiar face on Aging and Awesome, right? That's right. Good to see you, my friend. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm so good. I'm even better that Kai's cab is back. Aging and Awesome is back. And you're ready to play, right? Oh, yeah. Do you know the rules? I know the rules. And I hopefully I know the answers. <laughs> For those at home who don't, it's get three out of four questions right today, Kathy. And guess what? What? You win some chocolate from Gardnerville's Chocolate Chop. Oh, Job. nice. <laughs> I love chocolate. Good. I'm so glad. Well, you're in the right place for some. You just got to get these questions oh, right. Oh, boy. Pressure's Ka on. Pressure's on. Kathy, you ready to play? I am ready. Question number one. The fictional city of Gotham is home to what superhero nicknamed the Dark Knight? Is it A, Spider-Man, B, Aquaman, C, Wonder Woman, or D, Batman? Batman. Batman, without even thinking. That's an easy, was that an easy one? Yes, that was. <laughs> Make the rest easy, please. I'm glad that one was super easy, Kathy. I'm still in the game. You're still in the game. You got two more opportunities. Question number two. What P word is a canine that comes in standard, miniature, and toy sizes, and is the national dog of France? That would be a poodle. Kathy, wait, Kathy, wait, hold up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you are just, okay. I thought maybe that would be a little harder. Yes, it's oh. Poodle. She didn't even let me get any of the options out there. I'm a dog person. I really don't want to make this so easy that you okay. that you win in three. <laughs> I want this to be a challenge. No, you're doing great. Okay. Get this next question right, Kathy, and you're a winner. Here's question number three. Let's see if it'll be any harder for you. In the game of craps, what total number would you roll on the dice if they turned up snake eyes? Is it A2, B4, C6, or D8? Two. Two. Yeah. Snake Eyes? Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes 2 is correct. Congratulations, Kathy. You won. All right. <laughs> See, it wasn't that hard. I really wanted to stump you, but good. How do you feel? You're a winner. I feel great. It's well, always nice to be a winner. Yes, you are a winner, and I like to give everybody this little last 15 seconds of fame here in the cab. You're on TV. What do you want to say to the world? I guess, uh, especially in these times, don't sweat the small stuff. Don't sweat the small stuff. I agree. Good word of advice to our wonderful viewers. You're wonderful, Kathy. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Kai's Cab is presented by Senior Care Plus, the only Nevada-based not-for-profit Medicare Advantage plan serving Washoe County and Carson City. Senior Care Plus, for the healthiest reasons. That's all the time we have for today. From the Virgil, thank you so much for watching Aging and Awesome, and thank you to our live studio yeah. audience, right? for coming all the way out here. Our challenge for you this week. Earlier in the show, we met Barb Benny, who is now the master gardener for the Home Depot on Summit Ridge. Your challenge is to go ahead and ask all those questions you aren't sure whether or not to ask because people like Barb are more than happy to answer them. Seek out someone with the wisdom for anything you're curious about from gardening to home repairs to other hobbies, you'll likely make a new friend. Be sure to head to our website, agingandawesome.com, where we'll be posting all of the important information that we learned today in the Featured Segment tab. And you can also subscribe to our weekly newsletter, where we'll be sending you updates on local events, ideas, and a lot of inspiration. All of that and more on our website at agingandawesome.com. And this show, Aging and Awesome, would not be possible without community stakeholders who are truly worthy of your patronage, as they are working tirelessly to better the lives of seniors and their families right here in Northern Nevada. A big thank you to the Trustmasters, the Medicare Store, Marsha Rambo with Realty One Group Eminence, Morningstar Senior Living of Sparks, and the Better Business Bureau, Health Benefits Associates, Eden Hospice and Eden Home Health, Nevada's Aging and Disability Services Division, Lakeside Manor, Infinity Hospice Care, Reno Eye Institute, and Senior Care Plus. And we want to thank the Virgil for having us here all together in one place. And we'll see you again next Saturday night, 7 o'clock on CBS Reno. On behalf of all of us at Aging and Awesome, have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time.